Hi, my name is Rick Turlow. This video is one in a series of videos on deploying a Horizon Edge appliance into a Horizon 8 environment. In this video, we're going to cover the steps required to prepare a Horizon Edge appliance using the Horizon Control Plane. Please note that some of the user interface elements may be a little bit different depending on where you are in the onboarding experience and things like that. Please refer to the product documentation if you have questions. Thanks for watching. The first step is navigating to the Resources Capacity menu to get to the Capacity User Interface. There you can add a Horizon 8 provider. The first thing you will do is add a Horizon Edge name. Please note that the name becomes the name of the provider along with the name of the Horizon Edge. Once you have defined a name, you can always change the name of the Horizon Edge, but you cannot change the name of the associated provider, so choose carefully. After that, you will define a location where the provider will be located at. Type a city into the location field and select one that is a near match to the location where you will be deploying the Horizon Edge Gateway Appliance to. You will configure the Horizon Edge Gateway FQDN with a fully qualified domain name that you configured and tested in DNS when setting up the prerequisites. Please note that once you complete this field, the appliance will be configured and prepared for your specific Horizon Cloud customer tenant, and this process takes a few moments until it's complete. After that, you're ready to download the appliance. If you click the Download button, the appliance will be downloaded to the machine you're running this user interface from. For our purposes, we're just going to copy the URL of that download to use in the next step, the OVF deployment, which gives you an option to directly download the OVF that was created for your vSphere environment into your vSphere environment. This saves us a step of copying the OVF over from the local machine into the environment later. 